Good day everyone and welcome to this little video which is going to demonstrate the Remora wireless system. Okay, um, I have a Remora set up in the tank you can see down the hallway there and uh, this unit in front of us is the um, receiver board and the LCD screen to display what's going on. Okay, now typically you'll have your receiver board powered up with your radio. So when you turn your radio on, you'll also be turning on your rec receiver board. So I'll just plug that in to turn that on because we need to power the uh, receiver board up first. Oh, there we go. As we powered up, you're greeted by a welcome message. We're more system initializing. Okay, and you get this screen, Remora Connect waiting on 99. Now the Remora system will have, uh, for a start, up to 100 channels. So you can have 100 tanks battling it out. Uh, that's an awful lot of tanks. Okay, um, so once you've got that screen, it's now good to turn your tank on. So my trusty assistant is going to wander down there and turn the Panzer on. Go, and he's going to shuffle while he does it. There we go. Okay, now the Mako will uh, go through its setup procedure. There it's in programming mode. Flashes three times, it's a battle tank. And I think that's a medium mode. Now you'll see the display has changed straight away. So it sent the information wirelessly to the receiver um, and it's right to go. Now if you wanted to check the settings on your Mako to see you know, whether you're running as a battle tank or a light tank or medium tank, whatever, um, you can press A for info and, or B to just start your battle. So let's have a quick run through. We're just going to press A to make sure everything's set up how we want it. Hang long, yep. Battle tank, yep. Medium, yep. See coup de grace on. And of course, since we haven't started our battle, we've got no hits, shots, or repairs or anything like that. Okay, so everything's good. We're right to go. You'll be greeted this. If you wanted to greeted by this screen. If you want to uh, change any settings, you'd press restart and um, change the settings on your Mako if you wanted to go to heavy tank or whatever. But we're good. We're going to press B to continue. So we're going to start our battle. System's ready. Okay, let's turn our tank on. Okay, system's on. Now I'm just going to turn those headlights off because they are a little bit bright. There we go. Okay, so every time something happens to your tank, um, it will send some information wirelessly to the uh, Remora system and it will update your display. So let's um, fire. Okay, as you can see, we've fired at our system here, and immediately, shots fired, one. Two shots fired. Three shots fired. Okay, I sound like the count. One shot. Okay, now, if we are in a battle situation, of course, we're going to be being fired back at. So let's uh, fire back at our tank. Okay, hit's taken one. So that was the last thing that event that happened was a was a hit. So um, that updates. Two hits. Oh, we can't fire until we've got a reload. We go firing again, and we'll fire back. Five, four, and let's, um, okay. Okay, so we've got four hits here. Next hit will destroy our tank. Now say that was the end of the battle, or for some reason you want to double check um, the settings on your tank, just like with the, um, with the normal setup, if you press zero on your remote, um, your programming remote, these, this, this guy, it should send all the system info, the updated system info back. So let's just give that a go. Let's press a zero. And it'll run through all your stats again for you. So if you know you bring your tank in, you want to double check 
all the settings, you fired four shots. If you remember, we've had four hits. No repairs. Okay. And you should wait till the um, lights on the Mako, so the red lights on the tank actually go out before you go back into battle. Just wait a little bit there for that. There we go. We're ready to go back into battle. So we fire again. Okay, as you can see, that automatically gets back there and updates. Now, the next time we fire at this tank, it's going to be destroyed. So let's destroy our tank. There, tank destroyed. As you can see, the uh, tank sound has stopped. Everything's, well, it's destroyed. So, unlike before, if, you, if you're if you with the um, just the diagnostic L LCD, um, when the tank was destroyed, you know, you would lose all the information on your battle. However, with this system, that's retained by the uh, by the remora. So at the end of your battle, if you want to check how many shots you fired and, and so forth, you can press A for info. And that will again run through all the info that was, you know, for, for your battle. And we'll have our total number of shots fired was five. Total number of hits taken were five. And no repairs and pretty simple still tank destroyed and we want to restart the system okay to restart the system of course we'll turn our tank back on again and we'll press B to restart okay back to system ready and we can just continue on with our battle There we go, and so on and so on. So that's basically um, how the uh, Remora system works. Um, it's all right to go. Um, so yeah, another interesting little way to add to your tank battles. Thank you, bye.